Hey YouTube, when I make a video today talking about why you get lightheaded when you're straining during a really heavy rep or you're trying to eke out that last rep of a long set. A common practice when you're lifting heavy weights, say around like the one rep max range, is you end up holding your breath to create inner thoracic pressure. Or you may notice when you're trying to get that last rep of the set, you strain really, really hard and sometimes you forget to breathe. Well, let's talk about why you get lightheaded when this happens. So in your neck, right along here, is something called the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S. And it controls your blood pressure and your heart rate, or better, I should say, it sends signals for your blood pressure and your heart rate. So when you're normally standing around breathing like I am right now, everything's copacetic. But as soon as you start holding your breath and straining and put pressure on your throat, what ends up happening is you stimulate the vagus nerve and what's called a vasovagal response. So when you put pressure on your throat when you're straining, such as holding your breath during a last rep or, or straining during a heavy rep, you end up triggering a vasovagal response. And what happens is your heart rate decreases and your blood pressure plummets. What this causes is your blood to pool in your lower extremities. So let's use a heavy back squat as an example. As you're going, as you're pushing up, your heart rate's dropping, the blood is pooling in your legs, and less blood's getting to your head. So what ends up happening is you have the chance of losing consciousness. The reason is your brain is starved for oxygen, and its response is to shut everything down because it doesn't know what's going on, and it's worried, I don't know, you might die. So if you've ever almost passed out after a rep, or you realize you're getting lightheaded during a rep, you may be putting strain on your throat. Good examples of this are uh, when people come into the ER, they may have had what's called a vasovagal syncope, which is when you pass out because you put too much strain on your vagus nerve. And what can end up happening is you can strain, for example, believe it or not, when you're pooping, and you can cause yourself to pass out because that's how powerful the vagus nerve can stimulate your blood pressure and your heart rate. Another good example is if we have somebody that comes in with really high blood pressure, you can actually tell them to bear down like they're pooping, and you can watch their blood pressure on a monitor just plummet as they're stimulating the vagus nerve. Super potent response. So the next time you're, you're back squatting or you're doing anything where you're holding your breath and you realize that you're starting to get lightheaded, odds are you're holding your breath and you just need to let a little bit of pressure out so that your vagus nerve stops getting stimulated. And once you stop stimulating the vagus nerve, your blood pressure and your heart, uh, your heart rate will skyrocket, which is what you want. Food for thought, guys. Uh, it's not the only reason you might be getting lightheaded, but it's one of the common ones. If you ever look at yourself in the mirror and you see every vein in your neck is protruding out, odds are you're putting a lot of pressure on the vagus nerve, and right now your blood pressure and heart rate are in the tank. That's it, guys. Post comments down below or questions down below. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.